Uh, Gene is from NVIDIA. Uh, he's gonna be talking to us a little bit about how NVIDIA really does help uh, create that, that, that best user experience uh, by adding some vGPU to, to your session. So Gene, go ahead and kick it off. Thank you, sir. Hey, uh, thanks guys. Um, big thanks to the folks at Alchemy for, for letting uh, NVIDIA participate in this. And uh, good morning, good afternoon to all the attendees. My name is Gene Monaco. Uh, I manage a team of product specialists here in North America that are focused on NVIDIA's both physical GPU or graphics card solutions for, for workstations and servers, as well as our software solutions for vGPU. And uh, a lot of you may have heard the term grid in the past. vGPU is the formal name for what used to be called NVIDIA grid. vGPU stands for virtual GPU. So I'm gonna spend a little time today talking about um, how vGPU works, um, what are the workloads that we target and how we support our virtualization partners like uh, certainly Citrix and, and iGel and Control Up and, and Numison, although Numison is, um, is kind of a newer player to our ecosystem. So uh, let's get started. And I'm having the same issue that I had before. I can't advance the slides. Any tips and tricks on how to get this to, to engage? Caroline, if you want to go ahead and advance the slides. Yeah, I, I'm clicking and um, I worked before. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Why isn't this working? Of course. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I did that or you guys did that. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this slide, this survey slide, but I will drill in on the very top statistic there. This is from a recent IDC survey uh, where 87% of enterprises polled said they expect to let their employees continue working from home three or more days per week after mandatory closures are lifted. Uh, I suspect that's going to be the case for most of the attendees on this call. I know that's definitely the case for NVIDIA. We're still 100% remote. Uh, our, our headquarters buildings, which are brand new, by the way, in the Silicon Valley, aren't even open yet. And when they do open, probably later this year, we're going to be encouraged to continue working remote and come in only as needed. So uh, needless to say, that lends itself very well to virtualization solutions like Citrix and, and all the ecosystem partners involved there. All right, let's go to the next slide. Really sorry about um, not being able to advance the slides on my own. So the basic premise of GRID, or, or what we're now calling vGPU, it was born out of a conversation um, about 10 years ago between our CEO and um, a gentleman who runs IT for a very large aerospace company in the Pacific Northwest, who was using Citrix virtual desktops and remote desktops, but had no graphics injected into those desktops. And if you think about all the devices we use on a daily basis, whether it's a mobile phone, a tablet, a workstation under your desk, a laptop, they all have some kind of dedicated discrete graphics processor in it. Very likely built by NVIDIA. So we're doing just fine on those devices, but VDI virtual applications and virtual desktops did not. And a little more about my history, I spent a good eight years at Citrix in a variety of enterprise sales roles prior to joining NVIDIA. So very familiar with Citrix uh, Zen desktop or what's now called virtual or Citrix desktops and Citrix apps. And uh, it, Citrix does a fantastic job with virtualizing applications and desktops. But as soon as you start putting heavyweight graphics hungry applications in those desktops, those virtual machines, there can be some performance issues. And that's where NVIDIA stepped in and, and partnered with Citrix right out of the gate back in about 2014 at the inception of this. Citrix was our first partner for this. Uh, so the idea was Let's take one of our physical graphics cards, put it in a server, slice up the resources of that graphics card and deliver a fixed slice of the graphics experience to a virtual machine. And that's how vGPU was born. Uh, if we can advance to the next slide, thank you. Um, this is kind of what I'll call a, a dumbed down architecture slide. On the left-hand side, we've got VDI 1.0. I won't spend a lot of time breaking down how v VDI and app and desktop virtualization works. Everyone on this call certainly knows and understands it. And I say it's a dumbed down architecture slide because it really doesn't show storage, networking, and a lot of the other moving parts inside a virtual environment. Uh, but I will spend a little bit of time talking about the right-hand side on all the green stuff. 
So this is the point in the presentation where I clarify that NVIDIA is not in the business of doing virtualization. We don't virtualize desktops and applications. We leave that to our friends at Citrix who've been in that business for over 20 years, do a fantastic job of it. What we do is we partner with companies like Citrix and we make it work faster and better for specified use cases. So we start at the bottom where we, we put one of our many qualified graphics processors into an OEM server. So think of like a Dell R740, an HP DL380, et cetera. We work with all the major server OEMs. We qualify our GPUs for those servers. And then we integrate into all of the popular hypervisors. So we've got hooks into Citrix hypervisor and our own NVIDIA vGPU software integrates into the hypervisor. We pass a fixed slice of the graphics card through the hypervisor and up into the virtual machine. And we've got several different flavors of our vGPU software that are purpose built for specific use cases. So you'll see on the right hand side there, we've got our RTX driver, our NVIDIA compute driver, our generic virtual GPU driver, and we're going to talk a little bit about what the differences are there and it can get a little bit confusing because you think well just put a graphics card in and away you go it's not that simple we've got a lot of different types of software that are highly tuned and optimized for specific use cases um if you don't mind advancing the slide i don't know if i did that or if it's finally working for me um so we take great pride in our knowledge of the workload and the application um, we have an internal saying in NVIDIA and it's called know thy workload. And what that means is not only do we understand how individual applications work, we actually work very, very closely with a lot of different ISVs and application vendors on optimizing their applications to work better and faster using graphics and using GPUs. And in some cases, there are some applications that if you try to run them without a GPU, they just won't even work, whether they're running in a VM or running, you know, bare metal or, or you know, on a physical machine. So we think about CAD applications like uh, CATIA and SOLIDWORKS or, um, you know, geospatial GIS application like ArcGIS Pro. Uh, a lot of the Autodesk, AutoCAD suite of, of software products have specific optimizations that NVIDIA works with Autodesk to make those um, specific features work. So they just flat out won't work if there's not a GPU present. The same applies if you're running, say, AutoCAD in a virtual machine environment. There are specific features in there that won't work if there's no GPU. Uh, so on the right-hand side, you know, we're looking for heavy-duty graphics applications that would be used by designers, architects, engineers, uh, maybe content creators in media and entertainment. If, you, if you're running any of these applications in a virtual machine environment, you're going to want to tap into NVIDIA vGPU. On the left-hand side is, is kind of a, um, an emerging market for us, which is Knowledge Worker VDI, you know, general purpose Windows 10 or Windows 11 VDI. It, it works great for almost all use cases without a GPU, right? Citrix does a fantastic job delivering virtual desktops for Windows 10 and Windows 11. However, there are some, there are some applications and even modern browsers and, and modern applications in a, in a, you know, a Knowledge Worker VDI environment that do benefit from using GPU. One of the most popular and, and certainly something that we've seen um, in a, a boom in explosion in usage is video conferencing applications. So you see uh, some of the icons there, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Cisco WebEx, Skype. Um, we've done extensive research and we've worked with several of those vendors to optimize and leverage GPU when running in a virtual machine. Um, if we could click to the next, slide. Uh, actually, uh, I'll spend a little bit of time talking about the more obvious use cases and then I'll, I'll, I'll go back and, and drill into um, web conferencing applications. So when we talk about our power user, you know, our, our uh, creative and technical professional that I mentioned on the previous slide, these are the, um, the industries and the verticals that we, we really focus on. So anyone doing CAD, content creation and media and entertainment, any kind of product design, 3D design, um, you know, automotive manufacturing, et cetera. If you're doing any of this kind of work in a virtual environment, so you're using virtual applications and virtual desktops, you're definitely gonna need to use vGPU. And we're very likely already working with a lot of these organizations. Um, click to the next slide. Now this, this slide speaks to some of the newer use cases for vGPU. 
And this is that knowledge worker VDI that I mentioned. And some of the things that you don't really think about that would leverage graphics and, and look for a, a GPU in a virtual desktop environment. Um, think about multiple high resolution monitors. We see this a lot in the financial services vertical. We're working with a lot of trading organizations uh, where there's traders that are using three or four um, high res, 1K, 2K, even up to 4K monitors that are streaming stock tickers, things like that. You wouldn't think that those are, are graphics hungry, but they are in fact, and a lot of those organizations, in fact, most of them are heavily virtualized for security reasons. So we're working with a lot of those organizations using the vGPU software to accelerate their VDI experience for multiple monitors. Um, you know, that, that middle box there, productivity applications, I won't spend too much time there. You know, Windows applications, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, et cetera, they work great um, without GPU. If you add a GPU to it, yeah, I mean, it might work a little bit faster, but I wouldn't really say that it's totally required. Um, the, the box in the far right there, video conferencing tools, that's where I'm going to drill a little bit into it. So if we could advance to the next slide, I'm going to talk about some of the research we've done with the likes of Cisco and, and Zoom and our friends at, at Microsoft and on the Teams group. Um, and no knock on Ring Central, we just don't see it around that often, so I don't know how much work we've done with Ring Central. But what we found is that if you're running, say, um, you know, a Zoom session inside of VDI and your camera's on, so not only are you streaming your, your video out to the participants, but you're also looking at other people streaming cameras, if you're running this in, in VDI, you're gonna see a, a massive spike in CPU utilization, really an almost immediate 100% spike in CPU usage. And if you add a GPU or a virtual GPU to this environment, you're able to offload those cycles to GPU and you get a better overall VDI experience. So that's the net of it. Um, if anyone is interested in seeing the hard data on this, we've got um, very specific metrics on uh, the performance gains that we saw from these three vendors when adding GPU to, uh, to a Citrix virtual desktop environment. Um, let's go to the next slide. I'm trying to, and apologies for moving kind of fast here. I want to stay under time and have uh, a little bit of time left for Q&A if there is any. Um, the main takeaway here is that vGPU is a three-part solution. So what does that mean? Of course, we start with one of our uh, probably well over 100 GPU compatible servers from one of the major manufacturers, you know, HPE, Dell, Cisco, Supermicro, Lenovo, and many others. We work with those vendors to qualify our GPUs to work in those servers. And then the middle step there is, of course, the physical GPU. I won't spend too much time on this. I've got another slide that talks about GPUs. And then on the right-hand side is the GPU software, or the virtual GPU software license. This can get a little bit confusing. It comes in a lot of different flavors. And that's where we lean heavily on our partner network and our valued partners like Alchemy to both sell the VGPU software licenses and then do the deployment and installation servers uh, services for, for this, uh, this software. And then my team of specialists definitely works hand in hand with Alchemy to, to answer all the questions around uh, both physical GPUs and then the software. What's the right software addition for the specific use case? Uh, next slide, please. So it wouldn't be an NVIDIA presentation without um, a picture of the kids, as one of my friends refers to it as. If anyone's been on an NVIDIA presentation or maybe attended one of our GTC conferences, we love to show pictures of GPUs. And it can get a little bit confusing, admittedly, because we come out with GPUs um, aggressively. We innovate and we come out with new generations of GPUs almost yearly, about every, between every one to two years. I'm gonna highlight three GPUs on this page. These are the three that lend themselves best to application and desktop virtualization. Uh, the one that, that we just announced is the NVIDIA A16 on the upper left-hand side. That is the successor to the now legacy M10. So if anyone on this call is doing grid or vGPU already, you're very likely using an M10. M10's still around. It's got, it's got some life left, but um, the successor to that is the A16. That is a 64 gig GPU. What does that mean? You can put 64 GPU accelerated VMs on that physical card running in a server. If you put two or three of those GPUs in a server, you can do the math there. You're gonna be able to one, run well over a hundred VDI sessions with GPU acceleration on a two, or, you know, rack mount 2U server. Uh, the T4 is also a very popular GPU for virtualization. Um, it's a small form factor 
single um, single width half height GPU. It snaps right into PCI bus. It draws very low power and supports a variety of desktop use cases for either knowledge workers or high end virtual workstations and even um, artificial intelligence and, and machine learning applications. And then lastly, we'll talk about the A10. The A10 is also a smaller form factor GPU, a single slot GPU that draws low power and also lends itself very well to virtual workstations and uh, knowledge worker VDI that we talked about a little bit earlier. Um, next slide, please. Apologies for this slide, it's a bit of an eye chart. This shows the full portfolio of server class GPUs that support virtualization. Um, I'm definitely not gonna review all the, all the numbers on here because I can barely read them myself. So I imagine you guys are squinting to look at this one. Um, I believe we're gonna leave behind these slides. So if anyone really wants to kind of geek out and see what all the different GPUs do and what their capacity is, have at it. This slide will tell you all the details of all of those. Uh, next slide, please. Great. Um, won't spend too much time on this one, but this does break down three primary use cases for GPU accelerated virtual apps and desktops. We talked about knowledge worker VDI. We talked about the middle tier, which is our creative and technical professional, or what I would call power user VDI, leveraging our RTX virtual workstation software. What we haven't talked about is the right hand side. And this is a relatively new use case, which is AI, deep learning, machine learning, data science type work. That type of work is, it is so compute intensive and really heavily relies on, on, on graphics acceleration or GPU acceleration, I should say, or you know, uh, parallel processing, which is you know, the underlying math of a graphics processor. Um, historically, uh, our customers didn't wanna do this in a virtual environment. That's changing now. So what a lot of customers are learning, specifically maybe in healthcare and medical research and in higher education, they, they are wanting to run multiple machine learning and deep learning and AI workloads on a single GPU. And you historically, you couldn't do that without virtualization. Now you can. We've got a flavor of our software that is specifically tuned to accelerating machine learning and deep learning workloads um, and supported by Citrix Hypervisor. So what that means is you get an economy of scale, you buy one of our big, very powerful GPUs, and rather than wanting running one AI workload on there, now you can run two, four, six, you know, possibly as many as, as eight AI workloads on a single physical GPU uh, that's integrated into, uh, into a hypervisor. Uh, next slide, please. All right, here we go. So this is our, our uh, you know, a look at the, the four types of virtual software that we sell and support through our friends at Alchemy. Um, we start on the left-hand side with NVIDIA Virtual PC or what we call VPC for short. So that's our knowledge worker VDI software for, for graphics acceleration in a knowledge worker VDI environment. Um, next is our NVIDIA Virtual Application Software or vApps. That is used to support graphics acceleration in a Citrix Zen app or now what's called Citrix Applications environment. So if you're running a single application on a Citrix application server, and if that application requires or benefits from GPU acceleration, so think of like a, maybe, you know, a PAX imaging application in healthcare, uh, medical imaging application running on a Citrix Zen app server, if you lay our NVIDIA vApps application on top of that, you will get graphics acceleration in that Zen app server. Uh, moving further to the right is our RTX virtual workstation software, what we call VWS or virtual workstation for short. For short. That's our, our power user uh, graphics virtualization software. And then last but not least, I touched on it a bit on the last slide, is our NVIDIA virtual compute server or what we call VCS for short, virtual compute server. And that's our, our software that is specifically tuned for accelerating machine learning, deep learning, high performance computing and AI workloads. So that's running multiple AI workloads on a single GPU in a virtual machine environment. Uh, next slide. Um, this is a good screenshot moment. This shows our team of dedicated grid slash VGPU specialists um, where we're geographically distributed. We can, you can see we're, we're a bit of a skeleton crew. We don't do any direct sales. We sell only through um, our valued partners. And uh, you can see we, we cover a lot of ground with a small number of people. I want to highlight the name on the bottom left of the slide, um, Rich Crowell. Rich is on this call. Rich is dedicated just to supporting our top partners. 
So he is really solely focused on working with Alchemy and a handful of other partners that we value. We consider our top quote unquote NPN or, or um, NVIDIA preferred network partners. Um, we also have a dedicated partner alliance manager named Thad Morrow who works with Alchemy on all things NVIDIA. So the two real go-to contacts for Alchemy are gonna be Rich Crowell and Thad Morrow. And then if you need to pull in one of my specialists, um, it'll be some of the names that you see on this slide. Um, all right, so how can you test out our stuff? Um, we offer our virtual GPU software for evaluation, like all, all enterprise software companies do. You can go to, uh, I think you could just grid in virtual, or uh, you, could, you could Google, excuse me, NVIDIA virtual GPU evaluation. It'll take you a landing page where you register for um, a free license. It's good for 90 days and up to 128 users or you can try it in a cloud-hosted environment. Um, and that, the downside of the cloud-hosted environment, um, I think you get 48 hours to play around with the VDI environment that's got some pre-baked applications like AutoCAD and SolidWorks and RTIS Pro, but you can't import your own models or images or data. So if you're really serious about testing this out, I would encourage you to, uh, to do a POC on-premise supported by our friends at Alchemy. And we even have a GPU loaner program. So if you've got a server, but you need a GPU, talk to us and we can loan you a physical GPU to support that software. Uh, next slide, and I think I'm doing okay on time. This is the last slide. This is the obligatory kind of resources link so slide. Um, you can take a screenshot of this and see all the various online resources we have. We've got a YouTube channel. We've got lots of different documentation available. And uh, with that, I think that's my last slide. I'll stop. I want to thank everyone for the time and, uh, and attention. Apologies for not being able to drive my own slides. Not sure what happened there. We're great in the uh, test drive. And, and for some reason, live, it, it's not working. So thanks to the folks at Alchemy for, for keeping that moving along. Yeah, Gene, so one quick question for you here. You know, we, we talked a lot about this today. I mean, you know, again, you covered, everyone knows that, you know, if we're going to be doing the high-end stuff, um, you know, that, you know, NVIDIA is, you know, is a requirement, right, to be able to have some of those features and functions. You know, I, I know you kind of mentioned that this is a growing part. I mean, what have we seen here over the last, you know, 6, 12, 18 months in terms of, you know, getting VGPU to work for those knowledge workers? I mean, how much, what have we seen as the trend? Yeah, you know, it's a great question. And I would say the trend is really industry specific. So again, I, our friends at Citrix do a fantastic job for kind of, you know, general purpose Windows 10 and Windows 11 DDI, but we're seeing very specific industries. I'm going to call out um, financial services or, or um, really, I would say, highly skilled consultants. So that's law firms, accounting firms, these kind of companies that are already heavily virtualized, they're already using Citrix DDI. But as their use cases get more graphics intensive because they're running new applications they didn't realize benefited from GPU or they're running multiple monitors or they're doing, you know, running multiple web conferencing tools. They're the companies that are coming to us saying, we're already running Citrix for VDI. It's doing fantastic, but we've got a subset of users that need graphics. And, and that's where we go in kind of after the fact and we, we add uh, graphics to those existing Citrix environments just to make it go from working really good to move a little bit faster. Cool. Well, excellent, Gene. Well, thank you very much. Like I said, we really appreciate the partnership with NVIDIA. Uh, we are, you know, uh, glad that we're working together here to help deliver, you know, those, uh, that best end user experience for our customers. So uh, thank you. If we have any additional questions, we'll go ahead and reach out.